Hello everybody, welcome back to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host T, how are y'all doing today? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about this Illuminati ritual, AKA Michael Rubin's white party, okay? Let's talk. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. And once you hear what I have to say, let's talk in the comments, okay? So, I'm sure y'all have seen it's made it's web it's made its rounds on social media pictures um you know from Mike Rubin's white party many of them shared by Mike himself and you know like it was no paparazzi in that bitch like paparazzi didn't crash it like Mike the host and you know many of his uh guests post pics that's how we found out that's how we know about this okay and you know why they posted pics it's so fucking hot you know why they posted pics because they have to let you know what they're doing they have to tell you yeah this is the type of time that we're on yeah this is what we do this is what we're doing and if you can't pick up what they're putting down that's on you but i feel like that's why we have pictures in the first place because there are plenty of rituals y'all that we don't get pics to you know like again people don't have pictures you know after they go into the met gala they they've taken a few you know only one thing about a menu has gotten out you know what they eat the food and i think that that only came out because people started asking questions and that picture I'm sure was just PR you know damage control because I feel like many of us already know what's going down up inside there if you've been you know following truther content or conspiracy conspiracy content for long enough you already know what is what's, what's popping okay it's, it's real dark and heinous just like this fucking party okay so um they took pics and posted photos and I'm saying I'm making a big emphasis on the photos because Mike Rubin himself made it I feel like his body language in the pics the way he the way he was posing and stuff was making it very clear what's going on okay like I don't know what else y'all want them to do okay if they if they showed us anymore there would be a video but um the the kim k kind so what i'm saying is you know we know them pictures i got pictures for this video we know them pictures is looking homoerotic we know them pictures is looking like they all more than friends we know they showing more love to the men the men are showing more love to the other men and they are the women all the women there and we didn't see pics of you know men all hugged up and you know you know giving church hugs and shit like that to the to the bad bitches no i don't you know they they say they got i think some dude who was dancing with lori harvey but um you know that little snippet got out but do we really see you know kim is single and ready to goddamn mingle so is emily radajowski or whatever her name is M. Rata. Okay, two chicks who you know what time it is. They they definitely, you know, pay by the hour type of chicks. How the fuck do you think they got where they got now? Now, what was also really funny is how Kim showed up in the same outfit as Chaney, the other um, charged by the hour who was messing with Kim X. And that just showed how much he loved, you know, women who charge. That's so strange. But, you know, a lot of rich men are like that. But this party is full of them. And even it being full of, uh, you know, escorts and stuff like that. And, you know, fine celebrity women, eligible bachelorettes and bachelors. It seems like the bachelors are more interested in each other. And the, um, you know, it's a lot of black athletes. This this is coming off real get out-ish. You know, if get out, put a, put a fucking rap song as a soundtrack on a Get Out movie and you had a fucking Mike Rubin all-white party because it seems like it's a lot of black men on the dinner table, on the menu for these Uwish execs. 
And y'all already know what time it is, though. You know? Like, I feel like this shit has been exposed. And they stay exposing it. Because... They have to. They have to. They have to tell you what it is. And you have to make a choice to who you support and who you don't. And when it comes to um, just a lot of stuff with, again, these rappers, you know what I mean? It's so weird. And it's just showing... Look, the game is not about talent and really selling records, it's, it's escorting, like, the whole industry is built off of blood and sex magic. Period. Because if, here's a, here's a T, what I've been realized. If you really, like, if, if Hollywood was a real business, and you really looked at the financials over the years, like, if they were a legitimate business that was, like, actually, like, doing things, like, you know, like 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 we do out here in the normal world, you know, for many of us, earn our money the honest way, they would have been out of business years ago. That's how you know it's something dark and satanic to it, as to how they just constantly have this bankroll of money to keep a lot of these shenanigans up. Because a lot of these people really don't have money like that. They're really not making that much money off of, again, music, movies, you know, even ball, the way they live. You know, lifestyle, taking care of a bunch of people. And the industry, like Jada Kiss himself said, is designed to keep you broke and in debt. So, hmm. Like, it's a lot of evil going on in the world, you know. Some of the evil in it, Future, said that because he knows. Okay? It's a lot of evil. And it's a lot of people earning their money all types of ways. So... A lot of it is through escorting. Hollywood, you know, again, they've been telling us that low-key. And Kanye did expose it. Talking about, you know, yes, yeah, Hollywood being one big brothel and all this other shit. Yeah. It's, yeah, brothel. Brothel and blood bank. That is the real tea here. Um, you know, I guess Mike Rubin has a fetish. Um... People who had their kids there, what the fuck y'all doing? You know, having y'all children there. No child should have been allowed at that party, but you bringing your kids there to condition them and normalize that bullshit. To introduce them into the fold, offer them over to the program, in the words of unplug them, giving them to the program, giving them, giving them to the system, Blah blah blah, you know, doing a, doing a fuckery, handing your child over to Moloch. No children should have been allowed there. And you know, Mike Rubin, he got he he got a little fiance or a baby mama, you know, and she's you know she's just a breeder. It's a lot of that going on because that is old Greek philosophy. You know, these people, these these elites and all this bullshit, they follow ancient Egyptian and Greek mysticism which follows the rhetoric which is a backwards rhetoric and nothing but a product of satan that women are just breeders and men are for love that men should love other men but that they should use women to breed because two men can't make a child and that just shows how backwards it is because it's like okay so you want to you you love this person so much but it doesn't dawn on you that, hmm, we can't make a kid together. This might not be, you know, like, right. In any way that you want to perceive me saying right. But, you know, on a basic level, not I'm not talking on a religious level. I'm talking on a, maybe this one of these things is not like the other. Maybe, um, you know, one plus one is supposed to equal two, but our one plus one is somehow coming out to three. So I have to do some more research. That's what I'm saying. Because that's not making sense on a basic level. If I'm supposed to love you so motherfucking much, but we can't have a baby together because, well, we, we don't have the tools to have a child together. You know, like, doesn't that mean, does, that, doesn't that tell you that, again, on a basic level, maybe we should go be with people who we can love and procreate with? Like, that doesn't make sense to you, but when the devil has you, under a spell and in a headlock, you know, you, you normalize and, and legitimize any, all types of confusion. This party looked funky and musty as fuck. 
And it's a lot of that bullshit going on. Like, because, that, because again, the, the whole system, Freemasonry, period. Men who engage in Freemasonry engage in that type of behavior because that is how Freemasonry works. It's all about using your third eye, which is supposed to be your pineal gland, but really, and technically it is, but they are messing with that pineal gland by messing with the anal cavity. And this is how uh, the process of taking someone's soul and mental mind control and all of that shit works. Because even on women, um, messing with anal cavity is... um, is bad for your um, spiritual health and is bad for like your chakras and it can distort chakras and shit like that. I'm being dead ass serious. But Hollywood needs you to be scattered and they need to set off that reptilian energy and and inject that into you. These demons and these spirits. That's a great, like drugs... Alcohol, again, alcohol is called distal spirits. Drugs are definitely, they up, they open mental portals, which open spiritual portals and allow you to see into different realms and allow um, those realms to, you know, enter into you. Like prescription drugs and street drugs definitely are used in rituals. Uh, y'all know this for hallucinogenic, uh, hallucinogenic, I think, I hope I'm saying it right, uh, effects and hallucinogenic. And you see everybody there drinking heavy. They, they was drinking it up, taking shots, drinking champagne. I know they was getting fucked up and they did get fucked up. It was a lot of Coke. It was a lot of Quaaludes. It was a lot of anything you could fucking think of. We, anything fucking wouldn't be surprised if they had meth in that bitch all type of pills anything because they gotta get super fucked up and they gotta you know do some super fucked up shit and that's the ritual and you know you're again y'all I think a lot of people are starting to wake up to this but I just hope people who are still trying to rap because that's who I really want to wake up I feel like most people who have some type of enlightenment or common sense have figured out by now that, hmm, this looks like some weird ass shit, okay? But who I really want this message to touch are my young black men who are still trying to rap and trying to like be famous and be recognized by the industry. If you want to rap, make music, do film, anything in creative art to entertainment, you need to really ask yourself what side are you on and what do you really believe in because that is really it really matters that is going to determine how far you go it's really about your belief system if you believe in Jesus if you believe in the true god father son holy spirit god jesus if you believe and if you are a follower of Christ and accept Christ into your life, you will never try to be famous. And you definitely um, won't be trying to be anywhere near Hollywood. And, you know, a lot mixed up in a lot of the Atlanta scene, too. For real, it goes down. In New York, these, these are cities that have a lot of Freemasonic shit going on. You know, but you you will turn away from that all because in any small town, there is a Mason Lodge. There is a gateway to the occult. But if you want to live a a narrow, straight and narrow life and not a boring life, but just a life with, again, dignity, morals, whatever, whatever, like you won't seek that out. You will do what you do for strictly loving it. And if you make a lot of money off of it, because that's what you need to be worrying about is this motherfucking bag. But if you, you know, you'd be just be focused on getting your bag and laying your ass down in peace. 
Because that's what's truly prices. These people do not have peace. They got to do a ritual every other motherfucking Sunday, full moon, whatever, and, like, constantly be out here doing sacrifices and weird-ass shit. Selling their booty hole, selling their mouth, selling their cooch, selling their peen, selling their kids, doing weird ass shit, selling out their family members, you know, close friends, people who really helped them from the beginning because they gotta, you know, please these demons. And I'm just asking y'all and or telling y'all, like, really think about, you know, where you want to go with your art and your creativity because this. I can promise you is not the way a lot of those people there are some people who are truly soulless and who don't give a fuck and they're so happy that they did what they did and like Trina they would be selling cooch by the time they was 10 if they could but there are people who a lot of people who do regret that shit who do regret you know chasing that fame and money shit and mainly fame and because again I think nobody really regrets going after the bag but going after public approval and all of that shit a lot of people regret that shit and they and they look back at themselves and they're like damn I was so foolish so naive so gullible so silly for ever even wanting this shit you know what I'm saying ever thinking that this was the way so that's what I make my videos for because they got you know a lot of black men who are still chasing this and a lot of my young females too I'm gonna talk about that in the next one a lot of my young black women too who are you know following up behind Nikki and Ice and all these other girls who give them hope that they can really do it and that's why the industry does it to keep giving you hope that you could that yeah that yeah you can make it big yeah you can make it big it's possible for anybody you know what I'm saying if she could do it you could do it that's part of the reason why they are lowering the bar so much to give more people hope so they run over there to that evil machine y'all gotta peep game you know, when you really wake up to this, you know, this, this shit, you really realize, you know, people, the, the devil and his and his cronies, they be running game on people. And it really wisens you up and you start to be able to see game from a mile away. And you really start to see the play in a lot of this shit. You know, these people just, this, this is chess, the black and the white. So wake up, get your motherfucking cake up, but, you know, value your peace and this party looked stank and funky i would not want to be there i don't care how many rich niggas they had there please like a fucking pig pen look cleaner let's talk in the comments y'all bye